Ah, oh, fuck is this shit. Is that yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I've done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you got to worry about anymore is what part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again. Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna go fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well... I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those... Fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? I must stay. I'm Fabian. <sighs> good. Lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. So, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Broccoli, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and it don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag, Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Sees me there. With. I didn't ask for a blow by blow of how you lost your last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy, T. Don't T me. 
Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond kale, okay? It's too late for kale and its magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga, or talk therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, yeah. Fat slob. You two relaxed and you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude. You do not let the fuck up. I got ten years worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Yeah, what's fine, fine. Yeah. Do what the fuck you want. Want? Well, hmm, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Oh, really, man? Really? What is it? Money or a fight? What? What do you come here looking for? I came looking for you. And I found you. Yes, you did. I know who you are, Michael Townley. You're in a new place with some new friends and some fruity fucking habits, but you're still my running buddy. You can't. Undo that. Yeah, 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 sure, okay, whatever. Great! Hey, man, what's up? Okay, this'll be it. The Maze Bank Arena. Let's find them. Here we go. Come on. These spaces are reserved for production vehicles. <laughs> Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. Hi. All right. Tracy's a. Dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three. Two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. When I came home last night, you wouldn't make love to me. You went fast asleep. Ah. Yeah. You wouldn't even talk to Shake me. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Sounds so crazy. Mm. Get down. Stop a twenty in this. Fucking do something about this? Uh, uh, that's enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough! Hey, 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 I got security! Security! What you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Come on, right there! No. Fuck no. Come here, you little shit! Go home right now, Tracy! Come back here! Go home! Hey, you little prick! Get in the truck, Michael! Truck. We're right. 
running that. We gotta go to the left. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, yeah, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dick bag. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. Look, he went left. Ah, the little bastard's going up through the train tracks. We can have a little fun with him. But let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him. He went left. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Head right up here. I just hope that broke your goddamn neck. Look, you went right. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in L.S. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh! We'll get him! We'll get him! But we're sure taking our time about it. Ha ah, ah, ha! He's going down into the L.S. River. I can see that. I hate that club. President man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. I've never even seen him before. The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, huh? Uh, I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> the fuck's that? All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, lower, come on. Oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, come on, get no. off. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's going to see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Oh, 
Dexie! Where you headed, homie? Galileo Observatory. Sure thing, man. Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. <laughs> ah, thank God for that. Come on, get the lead out. You bet. Here we go. Sometimes when I'm driving late at night, I like to pretend yeah, the other cars are spacious. I cannot come to the phone right now. Call back. Sorry, man. This is the limit. I'm feeling okay. Yo, hey, little heart there, man. there, my love. Yeah. One more. How you doing, man? Oh, hello, doctor. I was wondering about my results. Davey, how you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if the when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. 
Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. What the hell was that? Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no, it's reanimating. You want to cut it in the coroner's office, you're going to have to lose the nerves. I've been around cadavers. This isn't right. Well, fresh is different. The ones you've seen have been on the shelf for a week. You can still smell this guy's breakfast. If you say so. Ah, the things I've seen in this place. Grown man you could fit into a sandwich bag. Bodies that are more maggots than flesh. This gas bag here is a blessing. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! Ah! Might be in the other room. You want to end up on the slab? Out! No! That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out.
motherfucker! It's all a big misunderstanding! Hey, I'm just a regular- oh. Stop! You don't- We have to contain this facility! Carry on with your business! On the slab. Cover yourself. Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember, I told you I know people. Feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. Problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's... 
I don't hell walking on earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Drug habit that would put your problem celebrities in the ground. I may look fresh. Probably flunked out of school. I think I've got better things to do than to listen to our socials. I don't need the social police to deal with scum like you. Probably a You socialists think that you can kill America, but you can't. What's happening? You, you socialist!
Trevor is a... The Trevor... Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He's got family. Got kid, ain't he, Floyd? That, 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 that's it, right. Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so... Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's going to leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There was Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam... He died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Wow, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. <sighs> Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done, all right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly... rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got Then, Floyd, what you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. Uh, you're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Uh, sir, uh, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Floyd always was a stick in the mug. Uh, look, uh, sir, please, uh, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Merriweather folks hanging around. Merriweather Security Consulting. Private army to the New World Order? My butt's gone The folks now. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter? Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. They won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Merryweather guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right. We'll take a look at that as well. Go park and get to dispatch. No, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch! Just about to start. The only Here comes the suit. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. It's 
don't matter what went in his mouth, it matters what came out. We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever got helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that can pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they had the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Merryweather guys at two o'clock. They're giving Forrest a hard time, all right. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! You drive and I'll spot. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happier when he's neck deep in shit. They're gonna check us. Okay, we got it. Let's take her down to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. Just drive careful, all right? Uh, there's guys all over the port who are a reckless driver. Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot. I'm gonna lose my job. Hook it up! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. Deborah's old friends with the... Well, with the... With the... With the say no more! You didn't fellate no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. Okay, it's up to the top of the crane for me.
There ain't time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Come up onto this catwalk, then go down the ladder and into the cabin. All right, I'm here. What do I do? First up, position the cabin over a container. There's some lights on the spreader that should help with alignment. Looks like you're in line. That's lined up. Move the spreader down so it can grab the container. Looks good to me. Grab onto it. You got it. Now pick it up so it'll clear the other containers and move it down to the end. We need to go to the other end. Bay 5. Right down at the end. There's the truck. Set it down gentle. You want to line it up with the frame of the truck. The truck is clear to go. Signal man and crane driver working together. Now let's do the same thing again. Take us back up to the other end. Line up the second red container at the end. Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. Wow. I mean, this is some view, ain't it? I'm gonna take a couple shots for my boy. Trevor, you want to see that warehouse? Come on! This rig ain't being used. It's over on the other dock. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. 
You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead end? No. Floyd, it's dead end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. Hey, 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 hey. You can't come through here. It's restricted access. No entiendo. No understando. Huh? Manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck Get do you think you're going? Get back out! Back out! Back out! Back out! I got confused. Uh, God don't speak English. Uh, must have read the manifesto. manifesto. He said, he said, no, here. Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Meriwether... Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it, and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah! Of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's got to be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Meriwether at the same time. I got a file here somewhere.
Name of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's, they're there, Wade. Look, 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 it's right. Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> Did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. That's oh, uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now! <laughs> and there, perfect. All right, so, based on my observations, I'd say these Meriwether security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, Bring it back here and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aye, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? It's gotta be the container, right? You and Floyd can help. We'll get Michael involved and he can put us in touch with some local talent. You okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yeah. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. No. Oh. Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! it here in L.S. really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, there's still some prep work and research to do, but it's looking exciting. I'll need you to bring along someone you can trust. All right, bro. I know someone. Hey, talk to Lester. He'll have a good angle on this. <laughs> 